Hey, Saggies! Welcome to your love reading for August 15th to the 21st for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So for anybody who's been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing the pre-shuffle sessions, but I am still doing meditative sessions that I, well, talking about my meditative sessions that I do before I hit record, and then we're going to go and get into the reading. Sag. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love your energy during this time. Jupiter going direct, I think, is working really well for you. They actually showed me, um, <clears throat> I don't know the name of this, but it's like, it's dice that are not like in the regular shape of a die. It's like, what would you call that? I guess diamond, like diamond shaped dice. Maybe that's actually what they call them. Um, they showed me that like rolling across the table and then with the number six and actually the die was black and the lettering, uh, the lettering, the numbering uh, was gold. And then actually when I was still getting into like the timeline energy of 815 uh, to the 21st of August, again, it's more for organizational purposes, but energy is energy, right? You can't contain energy. Energy, energy is not linear. <laughs> um, I actually got August 6th as well. So I don't know if something happened recently on August 6th for you, but 6 obviously is repeating for you. And that's a very awesome little energy. Things are harmonizing for you. Things are falling into place very easily matter of fact it's like it's almost like you don't have to do very much Sag <clears throat> like I said I do believe it's because Jupiter is going direct on the 11th which is actually tomorrow as the day that I'm filming um yeah things are harmonizing for you things are really falling into place you're coming into a sense of calm you're getting a major peace of mind and you're just feeling really damn good and you're not having to try that hard at it either which is really fabulous I was also getting a lot of crown chakra energy and heart chakra energy as well. I do think... <clears throat> so sorry about that, Sag. My throat chakra is still going through some stuff. Sag. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> With this heart chakra energy, whew, there's so much joy. There's so much immense joy coming in for you that like you just can't contain it. You just can't contain it. And why should you? <laughs> why should you? You should enjoy it. You know, you should enjoy it as it comes. And I also have this energy of excitement as well. And <laughs> for some of you, I definitely was getting a little sexy romantic energy coming in. I feel like there's a feminine energy. This is applying to many of you, by the way. <clears throat> a feminine energy. Looking at a masculine energy in a way that I don't think you've seen this masculine energy before. Like you've never looked at this masculine energy like this before. Very, and, and I'm not to like, I'm not trying to get all like overly sexual with you guys. But this energy of kind of looking at them like, just hang with me. Like Gerard Butler in 300. Like that kind of energy. Like looking at someone like they're really taking charge. They're really leveling up their shit. Like someone that can truly lead people. Someone that can truly lead people and who is just so like, <laughs> like overly masculine in their energy, but in such a good way, in such a way of like taking charge and really not letting anybody tell them what to do or boss them around. <clears throat> Someone who you'd want protecting you as a feminine energy. So yeah, a, ma a masculine energy that a feminine energy would want to protect them, want to be with, want to be around, someone that they can really trust and rely on. You're looking at someone in that way, my feminine energies, and you haven't looked at them in that kind of scale before, in that very specific kind of energy before. And I think it's because, <clears throat> um, Sag, as things start to fall into place so easily, you have such an amazing energy about you. And for this person, uh, I do believe that you are very connected in some way through either of your chakras, probably your crown and your heart chakra, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It was like a very spiritual connection, a very divine connection for some of you that it actually is really helping this person level up. So Jupiter going direct is helping a lot of people, not just Saggies. Um, you know, of course, always check your Jupiter placement or Jupiter falls in your houses. The aspect of your lives where Jupiter is lying in your houses will be highly impacted by Jupiter going direct. And I have already gone over how it will be affecting uh, divine counterparts in a couple of the channelings that I've had the last couple of weeks. So Sag, it's looking golden, looking golden, looking gravy. You're feeling good and you're not trying at all that hard to feel this good. And mostly because Jupiter is doing the work for you. Basically, you're feeling at home again. You're feeling at home again and at peace with yourself again and at peace with things that are going on in your life, especially your romantic life. And like I said, for a lot of you, it just feels like you're look like my feminine energies <clears throat> are looking at these masculine energies just like, 
like that's my emperor like it's very it feels very good it just feels very good so let's go ahead and get into this uh reading anybody who has any questions curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please go ahead check out the link below please if you have questions now do it it will make the reading a lot easier to understand okay <clears throat> ah sag <laughs> uh <clears throat> I was fine before tapping into your energy, so I don't know why my throat chakra is all messed up now. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm okay. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Sagittarius? God damn it, let me get some water. Sorry, guys, sorry. Mm. Try not to get frustrated. <clears throat> Mm. Mm. Sag, I also feel like as you're coming into such peace of mind, it's making people more drawn to you, very drawn to you. So there might be a lot of people wanting to talk about some things, okay? I'm just saying, because my throat chakra was fine before getting into this reading. <clears throat> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. One more. Nice. Okay. Let's do this. Any messages for my Saggies? <clears throat> regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Any messages for my Saggies? What do we got here? Ooh. Three of Wands. Oh. Focus. Focus. Thank you. <laughs> Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Something you gave up hope on is what I'm getting. Something you gave up on, something you walked away from, Sag. Something you're like, ugh, that's just never gonna happen. I'm done with that. Let's just keep things going. I got other shit to do. I got other stuff I gotta take care of. That's not gonna happen. That's not coming to fruition. So I'm just gonna let it go. Sag, I honestly, honestly, I feel like it's coming your way now. Whatever it was that you gave up hope on, that you were just like, forget it, I'm done. I got other things going on. I do feel very strongly it's coming back in. It's coming towards you. And you know, that is kind of how law of attraction works. You released it, Sag, <clears throat> excuse me. You released it, you let it go, and it's back. It's back. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Very much like Jupiter, just coming back, right? <laughs> Any other messages for Sagittarius? Wow, yeah, two of wands in reverse, Aries energy. Look at this. The three to the two, you really released this. <clears throat> Sorry, Sag. You really released this with those two of wands in reverse. It's like, I really feel strongly you really walked away. You just gave up. It wasn't going to happen. I feel like you were waiting on someone to take action. You were waiting for someone to make a decision. You were waiting for someone to take action in something, and you're like, they're just never going to do it. They're just never going to fucking do it. I'm done. I'm walking away. That's how it feels. It's really how it feels. Any other messages for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love, August 15th. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Four cups. Four cups can't Syrian energy. Someone's not exactly happy... Uh, with the situation that's gone on here, Sag. I definitely feel like you weren't. You definitely weren't happy with this person. I really feel like you're waiting for someone to take action towards you. They didn't. You were like, well, what the hell? Maybe I'll just release this. This isn't making me happy just sitting here waiting. But I also feel that I feel almost feel like it's a bit of a mirroring effect too, Sag. I feel like the person that you're waiting on to make a decision, they had some stuff going on that were very, that was almost distracting. I'm getting distracting distracting and things they had to take care of they weren't very sure if they wanted it Sag I'll be honest they weren't sure they wanted to take action towards you I think this person has had a lot going on around them and in their life <clears throat> but something about it the situation's changing oh yeah look at this four of pentacles you now have two fours you have two fours out here four of pentacles not be, not being able to let go not being able to let go of stuff I'm almost getting a lot of baggage energy yeah I'm getting baggage energy Sag, whoever it was you were waiting on, you didn't really want to let them go, but you had to. For your own sanity, you had to. And this person had too much going on in their life because they were too distracted by their own baggage. It's almost like their baggage was coming, coming up and biting them in the ass. Things they hadn't dealt with, things they hadn't wrapped up. 
were really nagging at them and they had to deal with that and it was very distracting for them and it made them not even sure if they wanted to move forward with you or move towards you because it was just too much to deal with at the time and they weren't exactly content anyway with everything they had going on Let's see what else we have almost like for some of you i feel like this person just didn't want to burden you with their baggage that they were having to deal with any other messages for saggies regarding love august 15th to the 21st any whoa. Ooh. oh yeah i'd say that's some baggage ten of swords gemini energy yeah Ooh, sad look at that yeah they were having some hard time looking at some baggage that they had to deal with they didn't want to deal with it but they had to deal with it i feel a lot of pain involved with that too a lot of pain Let's see what else we got here any other messages for saggies regarding love i also feel this energy like sad you know i think this person might have really hurt you yeah i really feel mirroring it's so interesting um yeah sag i feel like you had a really hard time letting go of what happened it just didn't make sense to you is what i'm getting it didn't make sense it didn't add up whatever happened just didn't add up you weren't very happy with it you were getting bored of holding on to it and you're just like i gotta walk away i gotta let this go i gotta release it i gotta give it to ether and you did and now we have page of cut oh damn it sorry guys page of cups uh apologies apologies i'm also getting very sincere emotion longing sincere longing oh my god oh my god does this guy not look just like gerard butler in 300 the guy in the middle oh come on focus doesn't he look just like him i swear to god he does anyway that was interesting um oh Sag. Hmm. I don't like what I'm picking up on this. Well, this other person was dealing with their baggage that they didn't really want to deal with, but it was a little all consuming and it made them not even sure they wanted to go forward with you or head towards you because they didn't want to bring this baggage to you. Or it was just so distracting. They were just like, I can't deal with this right now. I can't deal with Sag right now. This is just too much. Quite literally, look at that. A ton of swords. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit to deal with, right? And at the same time, Saj, you were getting tired of waiting. You couldn't let it go, though, of what happened, whatever happened between the two of you. And you're just like, they're not doing it. They're not taking action. I, fuck it. I'm releasing it. But this Page of Cups energy, I've never felt this on this card before. I feel a little bit of an en energy snatching. Ener <clears throat> Focus. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Well, you guys can kind of see it. I just, I know it sucks when it's blurry like that. Hold on. I'm going to try one more time. There we go. I almost feel like you two very much wanted this, but there was a third energy kind of snatching away the emotion here, the energy between the two of you, almost like eating away at whatever connection you two share. I feel like it's the baggage. It's the baggage. You know, whatever baggage this person was dealing with, it was sucking away their energy quite a bit. And I don't think they realized it. I don't think they realized it until they get up and deal with it. For some, could have been a third party, sure. It could have been a third party. Um, and you'll know if that's the case for some of you, like whatever kind of third party it is. Because third party just means a meddling energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, but it definitely feels meddling. Yeah, it's like whatever your connection is, Sag, with you and this person, you and your Gerard Butler. <laughs> uh, there was something sucking away on it, like leeching off of the an energy between the two of you. And I feel like it was from their end of things. Leeching off of their energy. Leeching off of their energy. I'm getting a very codependent energy with that. A very needy energy. For some, it could have been a straight up addiction that your person was dealing with because they had so much baggage they, did, they couldn't deal with emotionally. So that's how they dealt with it was through addictions. <clears throat> and it just really got in the way of your connection. It's something that was on their end, leeching the life out of them, which was leeching the life out of your connection. And that's why they didn't step forward. That's why they didn't step forward. See what else we got here. Any other messages for Saggies regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. <clears throat> Any other messages for my Saggies? Any other messages for my Saggies regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Wow. And I it didn't... So funny, I was like, oh, it could have been an addiction. Nine of Cups in reverse Piscean energy, the energy of overindulgence, the energy of drinking too much, the energy of hopelessness, borderline depression, not being happy. 
yeah, there was something on this person's end, Sag, and again, it could be vice versa, so if it's vice versa, it's vice versa, um, that was really leeching the life out of them. Really leeching the life out of them, and it has to do with their baggage that they couldn't let go of. Very painful shit, getting very painful shit. Um, and it was very distracting for them. They gave more energy to the baggage, more energy to the addiction, if that applies for you guys, than they could give to you. They couldn't give to you because of this. They couldn't give to you because of this baggage. They couldn't give to you because of, you know, for some, a third party. We'll just say it's a third party situation because it could be a person or in the form of addiction, third party energy that sucked the way life out of them. I am getting depression with this person. Yeah, I'm getting depression with this person. I'm also getting drinking for some. Could also be drugs as well. Could also be drugs. Overindulgence. Anything to distract them from the pain of the baggage that they were having such a hard time facing. Overall energy, we do have three of pentacles. Capricorn energy underneath that. We got a king of swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. I feel like this is your Gerard Butler. We'll just call them Gerard Butler. And for my men, don't get offended. Don't get offended. Don't get offended. Um, yeah. I feel like this is your Gerard Butler. This is the person that had that leeching third party energy on their side that was sucking life out of them that sucked the life out of this connection they are coming to some major clarity here sag major clarity of what they want out of life and what they want with you they know they know they want you they know they want to build with you three of pentacles is having those discussions having those discussions to build something with king of swords that's as much clarity as you can get with a masculine energy in tarot underneath that we do have the death card scorpionic energy uh, ooh. yeah, major transformation and understanding that needing, understanding the need to end a third party situation. Again, whether the third party is an addiction or an actual human being, right? An actual third relationship, having the clarity that, okay, this needs to end. I need to end this third party situation. I need to transform something here. I need to change something here. I need to build with Sag, and to do that, I need to change my situation. I need to change the way I feel about this baggage. I need to heal. I need to heal. Wow. Sag, I like this. This feels really powerful. Let's go into this a little bit more. I'm not going to go over these energies because this just feels like you made that choice to just release this. Um, that yeah, that you just made the choice to release this because it wasn't happening. They weren't coming towards you, like I said, because they couldn't let go of this baggage. But at the same time, Sad, you couldn't really let go of whatever happened between the two of you either. Because I think a lot, I think you two care about each other. I think you two definitely care about each other. But let's look at yeah, four of pentacles. We're looking at the four of pentacles for sure. I'm gonna use uh Rider Wait to clarify. <clears throat> Talking about the four of pentacles. Tell me about, I'm hearing overconfidence as well. I'm hearing overconfidence. That's going to apply to some of you. Tell me about Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so I have a four of pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Okay. <clears throat> so I have the four of pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. So I have the four of pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Talk to me, Sag. Talk to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, Knight of Wands in reverse. So I don't like that energy. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. I'm actually getting fear. I'm actually getting fear with that. I never get fear with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Can't let go, let, can't let go of their own baggage. Really afraid to face it. I feel like this person, is there a baseline panic mode? This person's got a lot of fear. This person's got a lot of fear, especially whenever you were dealing with them, Sag. I feel like they run really easily from situations. Because of whatever baggage they have, it's like they just run from one situation to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. The second something feels uncomfortable, the second something feels the tiniest bit challenging, they're out. They're done. Why even try is kind of their motto. Why even try? Why even try? Because they've been so burned in the past, Sag, and they haven't let go of it. They've been so burned in the past, they're terrified. 
terrified of feeling that sting of betrayal, terrified of feeling that sting of pain. I'm going to run as hard as I can, as fast as I can, before anyone can touch me with any kind of pain. Ooh, okay. And Sag, you haven't let go of the fact that I think they ran out on you, Sag. I think they dipped on you or abandoned you or ghosted you. You could have ghosted you. You could have perceived this person as a player, whether they are or not. That's how you perceived them. That's how you perceive them, and you haven't been able to let go of that. Flame up the Four of Pentacles. Flame up the Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Wow, Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Yeah, Sag, you looked at this person like they're a player. Look at that. Running around situation to situation to situation because they got all these freaking options. That's what you were thinking. That's what you've been thinking about this person. You're like, well, shit, if they're not coming to me, they probably got too many damn options. This person, I think, is also terrified of getting cheated on. So, Sag, it's so interesting because you thought this person was being a player and they're terrified of getting cheated on right? They've been burned in the past, Sag. I think they've definitely been cheated on in the past. They've been betrayed in love in the past. And they run as quickly as they can because they just don't want to ever go through that again. I'm not saying excuse. It's not an excuse. It's just, I'm just the messenger. I'm just telling you what's going on, what was going on in this person's head. All the while you were like, wow, they must be playing me. They must be a player. They must have all these options. Very non-committal. Whether true or not, that's your perception. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. For Sagittarius. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. <sighs> wow. The tower. Scorpionic energy it could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Yeah, Sag, I really think they just ran away from you. They ran away from you. They left you confused as hell. You're like, oh, they must have been playing me. And it was a big tower. It, big? It was a tower moment. I'll say it was a tower moment. For some, it was a really big tower moment. Others, it was just, it was a tower. It was a tower moment. Um, yeah. And you were just left confused. Like, what the hell? And you're like, well, they, they're going to come back. It's like, that's what you were saying. Like, they're going to come back. And then they didn't. And then you released it. But Sag, I got to tell you, it looks like they're back. It does look like they're back. Um, and with death here, I'm really happy to see death because clearly this person does need to go through a transformation if they're this terrified of getting close to people and not terrified of getting hurt again. The only way they could do that is releasing this baggage. Yeah, I feel like this person's been through many towers like that. Many towers like that where they've been burned by love and people have like run out on them, cheated on them. Yeah, that's that's how this is really feeling. All right, let's move on to the Ten of Swords. I, I feel like it's going to be a little repetitive, but something's telling me to look at it. Something's telling me to look at it, so I'm following that instinct. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. And then we'll get into the Page of Cups energy. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Sag, you're going to get approached by this person. I can feel it. You're going to get approached by them. You're definitely going to get approached by them. Um, and when they approach you, they might not be all warm and fuzzy. They're going to be just very, like, Jared Butler 300. Was he warm and fuzzy? No. Isn't there a line like that in the movie? Like, um, oh, God, how does that go? I used to be obsessed with that movie when I was younger. Uh... Oh God, how, what was that line? It's like, he's going off to war and it's like she's standing there with her kid and giving him his shield. What is that line? There's nothing to say. There's no room for love in Sparta or something like that. <laughs> I know, I know guys, I know. But that's how they're coming across. Like, this is just the facts. This is just the truth. Let's just talk about the truth. Let's just talk about the truth. Be very matter of fact about it. Interesting. But some of you guys are really liking that. Some of you guys are really liking that. Tell me about Ten of Swords. Tell me about Ten of Swords. I just heard Gemini. Tell me about Ten of Swords for my Saggies, which makes sense, Sag, because Gemini is your natural counterpart, right? Your natural seventh. Seventh house is what I mean by that. They're the, your opposite on the zodiac. Tell me about Ten of Swords. For, I almost want to say Gemini again. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Sagittarius. Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Oh, he doesn't say it. That's how that line starts. He doesn't say it. He doesn't say it. Anyway, sorry. I don't know why they brought that back to me. 
He doesn't say it. Wait a minute. He doesn't say it. No, that's actually meaning something. Hold on. He doesn't say it. This person has a really hard time expressing emotion. Okay, that's what's going on here. This person has a really hard time expressing emotion. That's why they're just talking facts to you, Sag. That's why they're just talking facts. That's why they're coming across as a king of swords. Yeah, they have knowledge. They've grown. They're a little wiser because they went through this transformation and they, they know what they want. They're very clear on what they want and they're going to act very clear on what they want, but they're going to take the emotion out of it. It's just very being very clear headed. They have a lot of emotion for you, but they don't know how to say it. They don't know how to say it. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Sagittarius. Ooh, the moon. Piscean energy also can't Syrian for me as a reader. They're hiding their pain, Sag. They're really hiding their pain from you. Anyone, honestly, anyone they possibly can hide this pain from, they're hiding it. I think this person lives in a constant state of pain because they've never dealt with it. They don't know how to deal with it. Mostly just like a lot of mental torture, almost like running. It's almost like a little masochistic, like running the reel over and over and over and over and over of all the people that have ever cheated on them, all the people that have ever betrayed them, and how it's so easy for it to just happen again. They can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop thinking about it. That's why it's hard for this person to move past their baggage. But I definitely feel like they've been keeping this a secret. They've been keeping a secret how much pain they carry with them, Sag. So more about the Ten of Swords. And whatever happened between the two of you, they don't want you to know how badly it hurt them. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the whoa, to the 21st. Oh, page of cups. Yeah, they're hiding their emotion. They're hiding their emotion for you. It's very sincere emotion. We were picking up on that earlier. They're hiding this from you intensely as much as they can and hiding the fact that they do want to apologize for not coming in sooner, for not coming in sooner and for anything that's happened already between the two of you that was not exactly kosher. Play more about the Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius, yeah, Ten of Wands, they're burdened by this. Sagittarian energy. Sag, they're burdened by this emotion for you. They're burdened by it because they're not speaking. Because <laughs> they're not saying it. Because they're not saying it. But Sag, I really feel like they're about to. Because they might come in all matter of fact, all logical with you. But truth, truth is uh, often can get emotional. Truth can always lead to, to speaking of, out about emotions. They also want to relieve you of the burden of confusion. Because like I said, Sag, some of you were definitely left to some confusion on the way this person behaved and you've had a hard time getting over it, getting over this tower moment you two shared together. And secretly, they do want to relieve you of this burden of confusion. They want to they want to make things clear, but they're wondering if they can do that without getting emotional. But I think they're going to end up getting emotional anyway, even if they don't want to. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Oh, Wow. Wow, and for those where this is a third party, we had one more card come out. Three of Cups, can't Syrian energy. Yeah, for those where there's a third party situation, if it's an actual person, or again, just if it's an addiction or something that was eating away at this person, getting in the way of your connection, they're gonna be talking about it. They're gonna be talking about what a burden this has been on them. And they have been keeping it a secret for quite some time is what I'm getting. I'm also getting some partying. Also getting a little bit of partying energy with that. And really wanting that reunion with you. Really wanting that reconciliation with you. Overall energy, we do have the king of pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. This is someone who does want to provide. Who definitely wants to provide. Um, also wants to be very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm working, looking for? I don't like the word rich. I don't like that word. I guess you could just say abundant. <laughs> I guess you could just say abundant. They want to be abundant with you. They want to share. They want to share with you in the tangible things, in security. They want to protect you, Sag. They want to protect you. They want to be there for you. They want to provide for you. They want to move past this. They know that moving past this baggage of theirs will make them grow into the person that you need. The person deserve, not need, deserve. Person you deserve. Let's be clear, Sag. Do you need them? Do you need someone? It's not about need. What you deserve. The person you deserve. Oh, Sag, I like this. All right. So let's go ahead and look at this page of cups and then we'll pull some advice. Mm, yeah, we'll do steampunk. Let's do steampunk. Let's about the page of cups. 
for Sagittarius regarding love. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. One more. Sag, I think you've been wanting this apology from them. I don't. When it comes in, I don't think you're going to let on how much you've been wanting this apology. And you're just going to enjoy the, the fact that they're coming in and you guys are going to be having conversation. As a king, no less. As king. Coming in as a king to talk. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love, August... Let's see what we have here. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and the King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy could also be fire or air. I do think this person's an emperor. They're coming across as three different kings now. Okay. Or a magician could also be a magician. Anyway, because emperor encompasses all the kings, empress encompasses all the queens. So Sagis. Yeah, this person does want to apologize. They want to apologize for causing, the, I'm getting like a major delay here and a lot of miscommunication. I'm getting lashing out as well. I think this person lashed out at you in a very aggressive, kind of controlling way. Something that was very off-putting. Something turned you off about the way this person behaved, Sag. Something definitely turned you off. And it was like, wow, it's going to be like that. <laughs> it's going to be like that. And they brought in this tower. They brought in this tower. But yeah, they cause, I'm getting just major miscommunication on their end. Major miscommunication on their end. Let's see what else we have here. But apologizing for it. Apologizing for it. Because at the end of the day, it's been making them really sad. It's been making them very upset, very depressed. And that's why I'm saying the emotion might come out in this king, even if they don't want it to happen, because they're going to start out rational. They're going to start out logical. But I think it's going to come to the surface because at the end of the day, they're really hurting over this, Sag. They're really freaking hurting and they're really fucking sad about this. All right. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. I'm also getting like being contrary with you with this king apologizing for that like anything not anything but it's like let's say you you know said oh you've been kind of like this that or that with me no I haven't and then very contrary like kind of discounting what you would say I don't really like that energy clearly it's an energy they need to heal from and grow but with this death card hold on if I could pick it up I feel like they've gone through that transformation Sag I feel like they have I feel like they have play more with the page of cups use your intuition you're Saggies. You have incredible intuition. Use your intuition when this person comes in. Because they're coming in. They're coming in. Tell me more about this Page of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love. I feel like some of you are like, this person's not coming in. This person's not coming in. Guys, we've talked about this. <laughs> we've talked about this before. When you say, that's not going to happen, that's not going to happen, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Because that's the energy you're putting out there. If you want this person to come in... It's good to believe they're coming in. It's good to visualize them coming in. I'm not saying obsess over it. I'm not saying spend a lot of time on it. But being positive versus negative really does change what manifests in your life, okay? So for those like to comment like that, keep that in mind. Overall energy, we do have the high priestess here. Uh, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, this is all about what they've been holding back. I'm getting major secrets and also major intuition. Sag, use your intuition here. You know this person's sorry. Deep down... I think deep down, you know, this person's sorry, even though they try to keep it under wraps, even though they try to keep it a secret, they're going to come out. It's going to come out. They're going to come towards you. They're going to talk to y'all rational. Then they're going to get emotional because deep down, they've been hurting for a while over this. And you kind of already know. I think you also know about whatever this third party situation is, because for some, it's a person. Others, it's just like an addiction or something of that nature, Some or just the sheer amount of baggage this person has really kept this person from coming towards you, really kept this person from trying to be with you, causing them to be lashing out, causing them to be very aggressive, causing them to be very miscommunicative uh, when it comes to you. You kind of already know that, Sag. You already know, but there is an apology regarding this behavior coming in, coming your way. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Sag. I'm loving this reading, though. Definitely loving this reading. Any advice for my Saggies? Regarding this spread, any advice for my Saggies? 
regarding this spread. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? One more. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh my God, who else had these cards? Oh, it was another fire sign who had these cards. I think it was Leo. Was it Leo? I think it was Leo. I think it was Leo. Sandpiper spirit, be playful, 51 breaking down to a six, and Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. With the energy of eight, I'm getting that moon card energy off of the Bobcat. Like I said, it's a secret. You really don't know how much love and affection they have for you, Sag. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea what they've been keeping under wraps regarding their emotions. I think you've had an inkling they have emotion for you. I don't think you understand how deep it goes and how genuine it really is. How genuine it really is. And with the bobcat spirit, like, look at those eyes. I feel like they have been keeping um, their eyes on you, like eyes on the target. They've been wanting to come your way for a while. They just haven't been able to because they've been dealing with this baggage, whatever this baggage is for them, okay? They need to deal with that in order to come in and to talk to you honestly. They know that. So they've just been keeping an eye on you like predator prey in a very sexy way. <laughs> in a very sexy way. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So now we have, my gosh, ah, I can't pick up these cards today. Ah, all right. Peacock spirit, let it shine. 46 is a cyclical energy. So closing cycles, opening new cycles, opening a new chapter. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, that breaks down to a four about foundations, stability, and structures, building together building together let it shine is about being very honest it's about being very prideful as well in a good way in a healthy way like being proud of yourself being proud of your spell your, your spell your spell <laughs> being proud of yourself speaking your truth and speaking the truth about what you really feel sag i'm telling you this person's going to be emotional with you and if you're honest too about the way you feel about this person because i know a lot of you have emotion for this person i can feel it you might not want to admit it but i can feel it i can definitely feel it being very honest in your emotions with this person while you have this conversation might just be that trigger that hits them in the heart that makes them go, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> really hits them in the heart space. But with Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. I also feel this is a lesson for them. Oh, focus. This is a lesson for this king. If it will focus. There we go. This is a lesson for this king. They have learned from this experience that they had a lot of baggage weighing on their heart. In regards to you, their past, cheating behavior, player, play up behavior, whatever you want to call it, whatever it was for them, could again, could also be addictions and that of the sort. And this baggage really prevented them from feeling, not from feeling, but from accepting their emotions and being able to talk about it because they were in so much freaking pain from whatever that baggage is and or was, Okay. And this lesson is like, okay, I've learned. I actually have to talk about my emotions now. I actually have to be honest with what I feel. This is a lesson for the king that that is what leads to growth is purging and letting shit go and also being honest with yourself about what you feel and what they feel for you. Feminine energies. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Saggies? Wow. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. 64 cyclical energy. We now have mirror numbers, people. <laughs> we now have mirror numbers. 46 and 64. Like I said, that number six, very, very prominent in your meditative session. You have 51 breaking down to a six here. You also have six as part of the 67 vibration there. And now you have two cyclical energies with six and four together here. Okay. Okay. Harmonizing stability, harmonizing built foundations, okay? Coming into alignment in foundations that you want to build with people and coming into alignment in relationships. So that's what those vibrations are essentially about, but opening a new chapter to do it. And like I said, with their, their baggage, lost spirit, sometimes life stings. You were stung in this, Sag, you were. You were stung in it. And it's also, it's also really important that you tell this person that. It's important you tell this person that. You might not want to. You might not want to out of pride, but just be mindful, Sag, that it's going to bring just even more enlightenment to this person because they are in a King of Swords energy coming at you. 
they want all the answers. They want all the clarity. And if you're very honest about like, hey, what you did really fucking hurt. <laughs> what you did really hurt. I know that you're closing out all this baggage and painful stuff for yourself as well to get you to a place of confidence, to be able to accept your emotions, be honest in your emotions, be honest with who you are and be honest with me about your emotions. But you also really hurt me. Be honest with them, Sag. This is a time to not let anything um, hold you back regarding this person. Be honest. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? I just heard I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that is what I just heard. I didn't deserve that. Let's see. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. Overall. Oh, very nice. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. 17, breaking down to an eight. That's your second eight as well. Oh, God. You guys have synchronicities everywhere with your spirit animals. So you have two eights. You have these cyclical energies, 64 and 46, mirror numbers, no less. And then you have that 51 breaking down to a six. We had six was heavy in your meditative session. And then six, part of the 67, that breaks down to a four. Four and six. Fours and sixes and eights, okay? Very, very auspicious for you guys. But anyway, so co-creating with spirit. This is following your spiritual guidance, following your intuition, and manifesting with the universe, manifesting with spirit to get what it is you want out of life and to use law of attraction in the process of that. Sag, you did that by releasing this person and releasing this situation and letting it go. Letting it go, giving it up to ether, and whatever was going to happen is going to happen. Some of you need to do this. Some of you haven't done this yet. Some of you haven't released this to the, to the universe yet. Do that. That's how law of attraction works. Release it. Don't give it any more energy and it'll come back. If you've already given it enough energy and you've been holding on it too tight, let it go. It will come back if it's meant for you. And for a lot of you who are resonating with this, this is meant for you. This is very much meant for you. So start working with spirit and start using law of attraction. Start manifesting what you want out of the situation with this person, whatever you want with this person or whatever you don't want with this person. Okay, Saj? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Bye, Sajis.